Okay, my son's keeping count. He says this one is 28, so I'm doing my best about this. Um, oh, I forgot. Forget that Akenum's melody. What's it called in, in English? Akenum's theme song. Theme song. This is a piccolo trumpet, and usually you play Bach on it, and that's what I'm going to hold for a second. I just mm -hmm. want to put sure. this music up here. Du sollt, du sollt. This is old German, right? Mm. Du sollt Gott deinen Herren lieben. This is cantata number 77 from, you don't have to worry about that. Uh, uh, Mike, you don't have to get a zoom on that. You did that on several YouTubes earlier. So this is for trumpet in C. Now there's a plus there. That means somebody thinks it maybe it's for trumpet in Tirasi or somewhere, whatever. But I had a, an argument with Friedemann Immer about that. He wanted to play it on the trumpet with holes and... I thought it might be for Tarasi before I'd even thought about the trumpet to catch up. Yeah, but in any event, this is the way it usually sounds. Just the first opening musical statement there, and then after the uh, alto stimma comes up, it's, a, it's an aria for uh, trumpet, alto, and basso continuo, no strings. Now, I've been playing this piece since even before I even knew that it was a Bach and Tan involved that I was playing some pieces with organ. Eberhard Krauss, the solo organist, uh, the, the organist in Regensburger Dome, did a number of these things, and I played some of his pieces. One of my first helpers or teachers, I took three lessons from him or with him in 1978, named Rolf Quinkve, was playing together with um, Eberhard Krauss. He was, Rolf Quinkve used to be the solo trumpet in the Munich Philharmonic. But uh, I would like to... Oh, can you give me the trumpet to catch it? Sure. Please. If I play this on the trumpet to catch it, as a matter of fact, let me let me try it on that that trumpet, this 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 natural trumpet here, as Friedemann or Ed Tarr would have done it. Let me just open these holes up, intonation holes, and put these two little plugs. No, you want to take? No, I better not. Okay. Sean, they they have little they have little uh, rubber mm -hmm. okay. uh, things. You see this? Okay. You see what's happening there? Yep, yeah, I'll take care of that. Thanks, friend. But I can't do anything until you sit down. Sure. So this is a natural trumpet in C. You got to bend that note somehow down or open a hole. Well, the English have been trying to, to find out a better way to do this, and they've developed one with four holes. So you can add also an extra. And then the thing gets so leaky um, that <laughs> I don't know what that's all about, but uh, I think three holes are enough. But this C, I'm going to have to bend down anyway. So once again. Now, to play that C sharp, I just pull the jaw down a little bit and flatten the tongue so I reduce the pressure of air that's coming to the vibration of the lip and try to somehow falsify the resonance of the instrument. Basically, that's what you're about.
but it can break very easily if you're not careful. So you have to really know your metal about this. And again, it could be also a question of metal. This is the original bell that was made by Adolf Eger, and you can feel that it's actually pretty... Oh, it's, it's very heavy, right? Well, but with the knob here. Probably, yeah, right? that's it. But if I take um, this Renaissance bell, and it, this is much lighter, huh? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Probably. So, let's see. And But the, the bell is more conical here, more like the trumpet of catcher mm -hmm. that you used mm -hmm. to have hold in your hand but don't want to do that anymore. Yeah. So the idea is to yeah. maybe I can bend the note easier because of that. So there's always this point where it's going to break if you're not careful. So I'm, I'm talking to Friedemann about this in about 2001. He said, oh, yeah, but, you know, it's got to sound imperfect because the text is, ach, es bleibt in meiner Liebe laute Unvollkommenheit, which means there's, there's, there's something missing in my love. My love is incomplete. Mm -hmm. Well, it doesn't mean that you play badly on the trumpet when you're playing with it. I mean, that's text. It doesn't mean that you should sound bad on the trumpet. But his, his propagation or his thesis was... It should sound bad because the text means, oh, I'm incomplete, or it should sound imperfect. Okay. I don't know why people think that way, but that was his idea. I didn't, I disagreed, but who do I, what do I know? I'm just some dumb Canadian. Um, so, uh, yeah, I'm sorry, give me now the trumpet to catch up. You can take that whole mess here carefully, it falls apart very easily. Thank you. Now, I know that it sounds a little wonky could be better. It's not perfect. But damn it, if you practice for a while, I think you can make it sound pretty good. And it has a certain character that neither that or the piccolo trumpet or the modern trumpet have. You know, just let me just play it on the modern trumpet. This is a C trumpet. Water in it, of course. So, I mean, I can move the slides around here, and and it's. It, I think that this this is a, a large bore C trumpet that I hybrid from, from the time that I was still uh, developing trumpets or doing research and development for Canstall. It's, it's a Canstall trumpet, basically. But uh, it's a matter of taste. You told me once, well, it really doesn't matter what trumpet you play. What didn't you say? Yeah. You can play a garden hose. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's true. You can play a garden hose and still make music. I've heard people do it. But that's not the point. The point is that if you have a, uh, 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 um, uh, the Germans say Sinn, Sinn für Aesthetik, uh, if you have a, an understanding and a, a ability, an, in, an innate understanding, innate understanding for sensibilities and for cultivation of sound and expression, you need to follow that. And it's up to you, each musician, to follow his credo, to follow his star, to, to, to strive for his highest uh, expression of musical uh, uh, cultivation and, and, uh, and human expression. It's important. 
Uh, because otherwise there's no meaning to life. I mean, if everything's just McDonald's hamburger, then forget it. I mean, we don't have to talk about filet steak or filet mignon even. Uh, if, you, if you would prefer to eat a, a, a um, McDonald's hamburger. Mm. I mean, I won't eat a, I won't eat a, a McDonald's hamburger. Not because I hate McDonald's, it's because I know I'm going to feel bad afterwards. <laughs> I would rather not eat it and, and uh, be hungry. So, um, so what I'm trying to say is the reason I have all these things and try to do things in different ways is because I'm reaching for higher ideals and I'm trying to express my emotions and the emotions that I have when I play Bach and Bach is not an emotional, emotionless thing at all. It's important for me to be able to do that. And um, also, there's a, a lot of talk about authentic mouthpieces. Well, an authentic mouthpiece is only as authentic as you can use it and another mouthpiece or another instrument in the same day. In the, you know, I, sometimes I play three concerts in one day. I remember one time in, playing in Munich with my Munich brass. And the Hercules Saal, the minister president of uh, Bavaria was there. I think his name was Schröder, Stoiber, Stoiber. And it was the, the conference for the German lawyers conference. Lawyers. That was all, all these. And the Hercules Saal is huge. I mean, there was like, must have been 800 lawyers there from all over Germany. It was a conference of... Uh, national conference and uh, I played with my Munich brass in the morning and that afternoon I had to play in Aschaffenburg with my trumpet ensemble together with Ed Tarr as a matter of fact and so in the morning I'm playing the piccolo trumpet I'm playing the jazz trumpet we're doing all kinds of stuff we're playing Gershon whatever in the afternoon I have to play natural trumpet well if I take a mouthpiece like this one here is and think oh I have to play an authentic mouthpiece with a flat rim only a flat rim and I can show you that kind of thing, what, what some people think is only authentic, because uh, here's a couple, or here's one example. No, that has a, I put a, had a, a more intelligent rim put on that, but let me see if I can find one that is really truly baroque, what they call baroque, um, or has a very flat rim on it. Let me just be bear with me because I'm going to find it in my entourage of, of thousands of different things that have nothing to do with reality is but has this? to do aesthetics. Uh, is it this? No, that's not it, Sean, okay. but thank you. Sorry. Basically, what I'm talking about is just a mouthpiece that has a really very, very, very flat rim. And because it has a flat rim, or some people even try to play a much oversized mouthpiece as that. I play a mouthpiece that has a modern rim, even flatter or rounder than a lot of, but not flatter, but rounder, than, uh, but doesn't cut into my lip. Because, you know, uh, playing the trumpet, it's, uh, it's hard work. And if you want to play when you're 65, you don't want to play a sharp rim that's going to cut into your lip and going to hurt the nerve cells in your lips so you can't form your embouchure or form an embouchure properly. So be careful who you listen to about the choice of a mouthpiece and a mouthpiece rim. Basically, all of my mouthpieces, whether it's for piccolo trumpet or natural trumpet or, or rotary valve trumpet or, 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 or jazz trumpet, they all have the same rim form and the same cup diameter. So I, that's why I can change from one trumpet to the other and play right away. I don't have to look for it. An important point. So um, I'll talk about mouthpieces more later, but I think it's important for you to have heard the natural trumpet and the trumpet to catch and the piccolo trumpet with the same piece from the aria Ach, es bleibt in meine Liebe lauter Unvollkommenheit. Thank you. See you again. Bye for now. <laughs>